like as an indie car, bro. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. They've been doing this all the trip, just like hitting the corners. I don't mind if they speed, but don't hit the corners like, just don't hit the corners like that, bro. Yeah, Prince Hakeem. Prince. Tell them where you're from. Alright, so I'm from Ghana, Africa. I'm a student here in Brazil. Okay. Yeah. Student here in Brazil. Yeah. What are. How long have you been in Brazil? I so I've been here for three years. Okay. Do you, lo you like Brazil? Of course. It's a nice country, despite the fact that you actually get to... It's actually dangerous when you're alone, but then I've been here for the past three years, so I know how to move the game. But it's a nice country, you know, beautiful culture, and all that. Does, does Brazil have Nash? Nash, <laughs> <laughs> you see. Nash. 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 They do, they do. <laughs> you are going to Salvador, so you get to see them a lot. <laughs> okay. You see those black women with Nash. 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 Okay. <laughs> we don't know how to say Nash. 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 I have a question for you. Yeah. Right. Go ahead. What, what questions do you get from people about Africa that you hate? Uh, that's a lot. That all Africans in every country in Africa can't stand these questions when they get them. I think people here actually don't know Africa as a continent. They see Africa to be a continent. Okay. And then I think one time one, one guy actually asked me if we, we have motorcycles in Ghana, in Africa. Do so. we <laughs> have clothes? Do we work with lions? I mean, you know, some weird questions that I don't, I don't know. But people, how, do you, how do you make your spears? They think you use spears? Yeah. Uh, what do we wear in Africa? Yeah. What do you wear? Yes, well, they think you don't wear clothes in Africa. Yeah, I think. I don't know. Oh, man. So, okay. How do you recommend Ghana for people to travel and visit and or to live? Ghana. Get to really know the African culture, get to know a lot about Africa. Yeah, I mean, we, we actually have this thing that we do. I think it's going to be a year thing that we, we actually invite you know, people from the diaspora, the black American, you know, other people who think they are their trees. Yeah, ancestors to to Africa, you know, to come to Ghana, learn the culture, you know, get to know the food, eat food, oh, and then visit some food, you know, get to know the culture, and then. Oh, yeah. What's a famous dish in Africa in Ghana, Ghana for Ghana? I think everybody is talking about fufu. Fufu. Yeah, I think during the pandemic time, I mean, people, I don't know, but during or after, I think people started, you know. Get to know Fufu, people wanted to try and all that. I used to know this girl named M Fufu. What say? Sorry. I used to know this girl. We used to call her M Fufu. M Fufu. <laughs> <laughs> but Ghana, Ghana is a, is a nice country. I mean, it welcomes everybody from the diaspora. So if you wanna go there, I mean, yeah, it, it's a nice country. You actually love it when you, when you go there. What's the language in Africa in Ghana? Okay, so in Ghana we have. Um, Speaking English as our official language, and then we have other 36 that local dialects that we speak. 36 yeah. local dialects? Yeah. How many of them do you know? Um, I speak for them. You speak 10 of them? Two. Yeah, two. Yeah. What's they called? G and 
Infanti. You said cheese and Fanti? Cheese and Fanti, yeah. Cheese is like the second most. Cheese? Yeah, cheese. And Fanti? Yeah, and Fanti. It's funny because Fanti or Fanto is a leaf that people use to smoke marijuana. Similarness. But this, that doesn't have anything to do with this at all. Yeah, yeah. Just good, good, good uh, interview skills I have. You know what I'm saying? All right, man. So you know, you already know I'm gonna visit Ghana at some point, um, as long as well as other countries in Africa, the country, because Africa is the country, right? Yeah. Yes, as people know, right? People will say Africa is a country. So you think it would be bad for people to say, "Do you walk around with lions? Do you?" Okay. Do you think it would be bad for him to say, "Do you guys uh, uh, have?" Uh, Electricity, do you live in yeah, huts? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, at this point, you know, being being serious in all seriousness, at this point in the world, um, I think it's not an excuse anymore to be ignorant. Yeah, you know, I was, I was actually telling a Brazilian friend that he was like, it, it was it's out of curiosity that people ask those questions, but I was like. Come on, we we in the twenty first century, and then I mean, if if we have you literally with your phone like a minute seconds away, you can get information and stuff. You can't just tell me that use that as a excuse to tell me, ask me questions that do we walk with lions? Are we? What can you see? That's unacceptable. It is. It's very unacceptable for people to be ignorant and not educated. But here's the thing: yeah. they're gonna learn today, especially on my channel, BLB the Brown Like a Baron. We are out here with this African brother yeah. from Ghana. Um, real quick question: Can you give me an example of the two languages that the two dialects of languages that you speak? Uh, how do you say? How are you doing in both of them? Okay, so. I think the two languages are quite similar. It's just that they have it's, it's just like Portuguese and Spanish. They say they just have to pronounce some words differently. Okay. So like in Chi, to say how are you, we say at the same. At the same? Yeah. You got that right. <laughs> I think you should learn it. <laughs> because I'm African, brother. Yeah. <laughs> I've got this. This the African blood in me. Uh, yeah. That's <laughs> at the same. And then in Fanti, you get. Um, Otiden. Say that again? Otiden. Otiden. Yeah. Otiden. Yeah. Otiden. Yeah. Otiden. Yes. How do you say, shut the F up and leave me the F alone? How do you say that? Jami. Jama. Jami like. Jami. Yeah. Kawanutu me. Shut up. It's like. Kawanutu. 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 Yeah. Jami. Kawanutu. Jama. Kawanutu is like shut up. Uh -huh. Leave me alone, man. Jami. Okay. Yeah. Now say, say it with a little force. Kawanutu me jami. Oh, <laughs> so he just told me to shut up. <laughs> That's the interview, guys. <laughs> so the BLB is in the building. We are in Salvador, Salvador, Bahia, and this. <laughs> Maybe I misspoke. This. this is African cook is 100% pure Authentic African food ingredients from Ghana that they brought over but the meat the rice um, the vegetables or whatever that's in it is from Brazil so I misspoke continue on and here's why you ready this, that's, um, you want to tell them yeah okay. that's um, Rice ball with palm nuts with a beet in it. And where is it from? It's from Ghana. This <laughs> is from Ghana. So I ended up. This is the guy, Prince Hakim. <laughs> Prince Hakim. <laughs> <laughs> Prince Hakim. I was watching the live the other day when this guy was like, you know, I'm here. <laughs> We took a bus for 40 hours, yeah. and he was on the yeah. bus with me, and he's from Ghana, he's living here in Brazil, he's a teacher, he's a student, he's yeah. doing a lot here in Brazil, play basketball too. and he plays basketball, <laughs> I, I gotta check, I don't know, we have to see. I'm gonna watch you go in the train tomorrow. If, if Let's go, to I'm gonna show you some things. <laughs> <laughs> so he says he plays basketball, we're gonna see, but um, 
He invited me over with a couple of his other Ghanaian brothers. Ghanaian? How do you say it? Ghanaian yeah, brothers? Yeah, Ghanaian. Ghanaian's brothers, and they brought me over for some real Ghana food, bro. This is, look at this. Look at, the, look at this. You, you actually have to try fufu, too. Fufu. They said they told me to try fufu. I don't know what that is, but we're going to try it. Yeah. I think a lot of people know this 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 right here, bro. This is similar to a lot of the food that we cook in the states. Okay. Mm. Which is historically West Africans, Eastern Americans, mm -hmm. and we cook. This is good. This is, this is fucking good. I think I should I should be helping you with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, it has a little bit of spice on it. Spice. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Nothing yeah. crazy. Yeah. Not a lot of spice like the Jamaicans or. Just spice in Africa. Whoa, whoa. Like a lot of spice, like it's hot. I think Nigeria too, last. Nigeria? Yeah. Yeah. But it's very good. Very good. Okay, that's right. right. The beans. What do you guys call these beans in Africa? Yeah, we call it beans. So this. Yeah, the black eyed beans. You say black eyed beans? Yeah. We call this in America black eyed peas. Oh shit. No, no, no. It's okay. Black eyed peas in America, right? Yeah. Hey, this is a staple. Like any black people in America, this is like southern southern food. This is. African food that we cook all the time and it's black eyed peas. So what we do is we take the dry beans, we soak them in water for a long time and then when they yeah when they get the water we cook. Oh my god. This shit. You see, I had the beans to do and complain. I don't like the beans. I don't like the beans. <laughs> yeah, it's very good. Very good. Mm. Yo, you guys they left me for here. I don't know what the fuck this is. You gotta tell me what this is. Dominic. 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 What is do That's his name, Dominic. That's his name, Dominic. In Portuguese, that we call it bushu, you know? Bushu, but what yeah. is it? What is it? It's a type of meat, uh, you know? I don't know if you like Just it. Just try it. I don't, you want me to try it? Yeah. It's very good. For real? Yeah, you should. Shit. You're gonna die, come on. <laughs> that, that way you can't. You just have to. A little piece? That is, um, oh my god. Tau. Tau. That, that looks like the stomach, you know? Uh, of the cow. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Fuck. You know, you know, you know one funny thing? We this food we normally eat with our. Yeah. Yeah, try. Yeah, T R I D. Yeah. No, like this food, you normally use our hand, you know? But because you are kind of like you, so we gave you a spoon. I think we'll have to teach well, you how to eat. eat it normally? With a hand? I think we... All of this shit you eat yeah, with Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just wash yeah, your hand and just eat it with it, you know? I, I think we'll have to... Yeah! <laughs> I'm liking this! <laughs> with the sauce and everything? Yeah, with everything. Alright, here we go. Fuck it. Let me do it. <laughs> take it and dip it inside the seat. <sighs> so I take the rice from my hands. Yeah, and dip it inside the seat. Like, what if you have yeah, to use the bathroom? Yeah, 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 uh -huh. exactly. That's it. Yeah. You're doing like a real African, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this is how we, we eat. This for me is scary, bro. <laughs> Just try like it. The texture. <laughs> How is it like? Is it good? It's just like tripe. It is tripe. Uh huh. This yeah. Is tripe. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't it like is. tripe. I'm not gonna eat any more. Oh, there, okay. But it's flavorful. For people that like tripe, very flavorful. I don't like tripe. But that is my father. My father is from North Carolina. He used to eat a lot of that. North Carolina is south of. In the south of the United States. Okay, no spoon, right? Yeah. You can just forget about this food. But it's very good. This food is yeah. very good. That's no. it. Yeah. That's it. You, yeah. You take it, you dip it, then you eat it, you know? 
It's very good. Very, very good. We call it M2. Yeah, in our local so language, it's a question. material. Uh -huh. In Africa, <laughs> in Ghana, if you're eating with your hands, that's okay. And you have to blow your nose. What happens? You have to wash your hands. <laughs> you blow your nose out. And you, do, Hush, you sneeze. Hush. What do you do? You just use the other hand. <laughs> <laughs> Just use the other hand, that is it. You know, if you're right or left, just use the other hand. Oh shit. It's a real African experience here, guys. But it's very good, you know. It is very good. Have you tried it? Have you tried the Jolly Fries? In my life, in my life, hearing about people traveling to Africa, my African friends from Nigeria or Ethiopia or Somalia. I've never heard any place say that the food is bad in Africa. Never. never. You won't get that. Never. But the food in Africa, they're very good. Mm. Because realistically, the food everywhere else, a lot of it comes from Africa, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god, this is good. I think you have to try jollof next. What's that? Jollof. It's, it's just literally rice. Jollof rice. You've never heard of it before. Let me tell you what it tastes like for the people that don't understand what it tastes like. This tastes like a. What can you compare it to? This food? I would compare it to like Dominican food. Dominican yeah. food is heavy African, but they don't understand how heavy African food is. I would compare it to Caribbean food, which is based yeah, from basically. Africa, correct? Right? Um, the spice, the spice on the tongue is not heavy, it's light, it's a light spice. It tastes like something West Indies. So in the West Indies, they have what is called like fish cakes, which is made, I think, from cod, and they use, use a little bread dough and they mix the fish in there and they fry it. Okay. And this is similar to that, the spice is similar to that. But Whoa. the taste right here. How's the pepper? Oh. This? We have pepper in it. I what don't is know. Pepe? Who's pepper? Chili, chili, chili. Chili. Yeah. Very, very flavorful. Yeah. It, 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 it adds something, I mean, something different. The flavors on this are not. You know, you eat something that just has one flavor? No, this has. Yeah. Levels. Multiple, yeah. Levels. Yeah. This is good, bro. I don't know about eating with my hands. I gotta get used to this. When I gotta prepare. It, <laughs> yeah, and just like the, like the, um, how should I even say the traditional food that we eat with our hands, you know. But when it's show the brother, show the next, show the, the Ghanaian brother. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's Gabriel, <laughs> and then Dominique. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's my thing. <laughs> Dominique. This, 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 this is the like. guy with all the all the Brazilian girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is how the jollof looks, uh, jollof rice looks like. You know, it's just a rice, uh, rice recipe. Just put together chicken. And That's natural to only Ghana. Now no, this one is for the not only Ghana. You know, you know one interesting thing. Ghana and Nigeria are actually fighting over this food. Really? Because well, the Nigerians steal everything, don't they? <laughs> Everyone, everyone wants to see who, you know, but it's very good. Shout out to Nigeria, you know. but you guys are, you guys are. Ghanaians are, 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 are saying like our jollof is the best, and then Nigerians too are also saying they get the best jollof. Listen, Nigerians, I'm tired of your emails. <laughs> Whoa, I love you guys, but I'm done with the email. You keep telling me I got a rich uncle in Nigeria. That's not a lie. Lie. I don't know nobody in Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what did you say Africans have? The ladies. Do you remember? The ladies? Yeah. I told you the bus. Nash. 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 That's Nigeria. For the translation for you brothers that don't know Nash, <laughs> that's called cakes, pies, hams. <laughs> Nash is life. In Ghana, in Ghana now, Ghana local law, we will say a tour. A tour? Yeah. A tour. A tour. <laughs> do, you tell, do you tell a girl a tour? 
Is that a compliment? Yeah, it's like a compliment, you know, like you got a big ass, you know. Mm. Uh-huh. You got fat ass, fat ass, fat ass. <laughs> you got two babies stuck there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really here, just a slang term for big, big ass. Big ass. <laughs> Is that a Nigerian thing or a South African thing? Yes. Yes. <laughs> No, 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 I'm from Nigeria, I'm going to choose something. Nigeria way? Okay. It's from Nigeria, but it's like, we use it in Ghana too, like, Yash. Yash, he says, he says, Zimbabwe, eh? No, okay. Of Shona, originally. Shona, okay. Okay. Nigerians use it. What country? I'm putting them to the test, pay attention, guys. In your experience living in Africa, I'm sure that you guys have seen other people from other countries. Yeah. Who has the biggest Nash in Africa? Sup SA, bro! <laughs> <laughs> you hear what he said? I'm gonna go for SA! South Africa, bro! They gave me SA! They gave me the win! You don't need to win! They gave South Africa the win! They didn't say which part. Johannesburg, no? All of South Africa. But you actually said a country, so. Yeah. Mm. It's from that DNA. <laughs> I seen some pictures of some girls from South Africa with some. Oh like, God. it looked like it wasn't real. It looked like somebody <laughs> just yeah. put it on their body. <laughs> Yo, it's true. true. <laughs> that is oh my God. Now, this. You're never gonna eat. No, but it's flavorful. Yeah. Very flavorful. Yeah. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of people in the United States that eat this every, like not every day, but they eat this, right? Me, when I was a kid, I ate it. I didn't like it. They'll do it fried, yeah, and they'll yeah, do yeah. it like this. Food. But this, oh. can you imagine this plate right here with beef? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We actually think, yeah. yeah. We actually trying it, but necessarily make it big. Hey, what happens? Let me ask you a question. What happens, like, okay, I asked you, what happens if you sneeze? What happens if somebody, the police knock at your door and you got your hands full of food? How do you answer the door? You just go, like, yeah, just like that. Police? <laughs> 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 yeah, Yeah, you would. Police are very low. Maybe you are here, but you are low. No, 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 no. Hello, are you there? No, 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 no. Oh, my God. So, look, guys, look what I did to my plate. <laughs> and this was all with the fingers. The spoon's here, there's no dirt on the spoon. You yeah, actually have this S P O O N. Who made the sauce? Who made the sauce? Dominic. Come, come say, come say hi. Tell, tell the people what you did. Oh, it's just simple. We we, we actually have the product from uh, Ghana. Let me see. So we 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 have our uh, spices. I, I think it's, yeah, we say okay. that we use. It's called a coolant. You know? So you just mix it and you just add your meat, whatever you want to add to it. You know, they just it's so you know, fine. It's, it's very simple to make. I'm just trying to find a picture. Is this bad to do it? Can you do it? No! You're actually doing it like I'm an African. <laughs> this is what we do. Trust me, this is what we do. We this is what we do. <laughs> You're an African, bro. Knuckles <laughs> deep in this. Pause. What? So this is this actually the product we use. We brought it from Africa, from Ghana. Ah. It's called the Inkulenu. So, you so just, it already has everything in it. it, you, just yeah, it. So you just need to, you know, add just it has spices. A and, yeah. But the, yeah. the regular people, they do it from the, from the from beginning. From scratch, yeah. 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 Nice. It's very good. That is amazing, bro. Everybody, everybody likes it. That's tough. You guys might have to come to the States and open a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> It's very good, man. We'll call it Nash. Nash, Nash, where's the right? I like the name. Nash, no, you're going to make it to Nash. You don't have Nash, you don't need to come to restaurants. It's very good. 
He told me you guys are drinking mud, but what's that? He actually Man. finished it, you know? This guy actually finished everything. You guys are not drinking no more? He just finished it. No, no. I brought something special. You brought something special? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, boats. <laughs> what is the new book? Shuba. 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 Shots, everybody. Hmm. Where's the glass? No, don't be scared. Don't be scared. Let the dom dominant scared. I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm actually scared. <laughs> <laughs> he should be, he should be scared. It's sweet. It's sweet. It's sweet. Don't worry. This is a. I made this. I made a mix. Let's get some. Let's get some glasses. Glasses. Dominic. This shit was good, bro. Second, okay. Wow. Left, left, left. Ready? Go. So, how are you rating the food? <coughs> Zero to ten. Yeah. Hello. Zero to ten. I'll give it. I'll give it uh, eight point five. Eight point five. Because. I didn't like the, what is it called? The bucho. Bucho? bucho. Yes. Bucho. But, flavors, 8.5. I think we should maybe, have added maybe beef not. and steak and all that. We could have added that. Oh, another thing. For the people in the United States that like hot sauce, you don't need that. It's perfect. Perfect temperature. Perfect heat and good. You don't need hot sauce. Even without hot, with the spice, I think the flavors is going to be really good. And this is why people keep going like Donna. We already know. Yeah, There's a lot of Americans going to Ghana. We already know why because it's calm, it's chill, it's a nice country, and the food is popping. Yeah. So you get it. We get some nyash too. Some nyash. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's show this. Let's show how it's done. Hey. 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 Okay. That's for you guys. Dominic! This guy, he's he's in the call. He's talking to him. He's talking to his Brazilian. His Brazilian woman. Look, they got me sweating this shit. Yeah, normally when you eat African food, like, it's normal. Is this, is it, is it, it, the food is usually hotter than this? Yeah, or? it is, yeah. So Very this is mild, mild. Yeah. You should have seen it eating. So I was all sweating all over. <laughs> so when you go to the bathroom, you feel the same shit. Like, like you feel the heat coming out, no? It depends. It depends. It depends. There's only one time in my life this happened. <laughs> I was eating Indian food. Woo! So, Bro, right, it means that. so here's, here's what happened. I went into the restaurant and somebody told me you have to ask the, the people that's cooking or the, the waiter you gotta ask them like no 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 give me the food that you eat because they have on the menu like the different levels of the heat but they said give me the food that you eat and he was like you sure and I was like yeah and then I ate it I ate the food I was good nothing in my face was sweating nothing Everything behind my neck, my body was sweating. It was weird. How yeah. does usually like yeah, I sweat here? Yeah, yeah, Nothing here. I was dry. Everything everywhere else was. I'm like, he's like, uh, I'm gonna bring you some. Uh, they gave me like a yogurt shake or something like that. Uh, I forget the name of it. It's a, it's a shake with yogurt and fruit or whatever. So he brought me that, and that calmed the heat down. But, and then the next day, when I had to use the bathroom, <laughs> it was it's no good. It's no good. It was a part. It was a part. I thought I had to go to the hospital. <clears throat> this, this right here, is two whiskeys mixed together, right? So we took a sweet whiskey with a stronger proof whiskey, and it's still good, but it's still sweet. So you guys try that and tell me what you think of it. And then after you try it, I'll show you one of the mixes. So the bottle, what I mix it with is the bottle that's here and then the other whiskey 
is another whiskey. So it's a mixed whiskey from Tennessee and then Kentucky. So we did that. And that's, I opened this tonight. So I, hope this, I was going to save this before I leave, but I opened this tonight. <laughs> I'm about this guy for you guys. And I hope you guys can handle this shit. Tell these guys about your experience here in Brazil. Tell them who you are, what you are. You got to put the camera on you. So what you what should I say? Okay, so I've been in Brazil for three years now actually. I speak Portuguese of course. We became a student, we are on scholarship actually. That means we are not paying anything it's a fully funded scholarship from the Brazilian government and we earn something small from the school too, so we kind of have something to sustain ourselves. But actually I, I teach English too as well because the Brazilians, some of them want to travel outside and then, you know, if you want to travel to the US, mostly English speaking countries, so they, they try, you know, learning English and then we, that's what, what I do. Gabriel. Yeah. yeah. So let me ask you guys a question for Americans that don't know a lot about. Africa, because me and you had this conversation yeah. about what people say or what people think about Africa, and they don't really do the research, right? Yeah. So the one question I would ask: How do you guys know English coming from Ghana? Yeah, I was telling you the other time, like right. uh, our official language in Ghana is English. You hear that? The official language in yeah. Ghana is English. Yeah. So when you go to Ghana, don't be asking, "Hey, do you speak English?" They speak English. Yeah, the native speakers of English. So, so Ghana and Nigeria. Yeah. So it's an easy transition for an um, uh, English-speaking country to travel to Ghana. Yeah. Which is why you see the influx of a lot of American, yeah. Black Americans yeah. Yeah. traveling to Ghana because they can move over there and speak English yeah. in school. Yeah. Okay. So, how do you guys feel about the Americans? traveling the black americans traveling back to ghana or traveling to ghana to reconnect with africa i think it's a good thing here yeah? i was i was telling him about the um, what's the thing called they noticed that all the americans were going to ghana i forgot to it was like it's something i think it's one they actually started it in 2019. And so they get what do they do? They get visas or residency think, to, yeah, to. Yeah, you just you can just go together. You actually don't need visa, I'm sure. So you can stay and you don't have to leave at any time, or you have to. I think you have you have there, there'll be a given time for you to stay in Ghana. Okay. And then you wouldn't need visa or something. So so there's kind of a. Um, uh, an assistance for American, Black Americans that want to go back. Not not oh. just Black Americans. Oh, not just Black Americans. Black. Just yeah. Just tour. Just yeah. Okay. So there's something for um, foreigners that want to move to Ghana or want to stay a long time in Ghana. There's um, government aid for that uh, to get back to Ghana. Um, I've seen a lot of YouTube shows of people buying property and starting businesses yeah, yeah, yeah. in Ghana that are from the Western side. Um, you know, it's weird to me. It's weird to me to say Western because <laughs> everything is Eastern to me, right? So, um, um, but we're the Western side, so it, it, you know, it's it's a lot of a love that Ghana gives. So here's the guy. He's finished talking to his Brazilian chica, and she's calling again. Look, look, look at his face. Look at his face. <laughs> he gotta go back outside. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's year of return in Ghana. Yeah. Year, year, year of return. Year of return. Year of what? Year of return. Year of return. Yeah. Ah. Uh, year of return. Okay. So if you guys are interested in moving to Ghana, they have the government has set set up for people to. Thing. It's a yearly thing. So yeah. it, they've set up a it's thing where you can. Yeah come and live or come and stay or start businesses and and re uh repatriate yourself in an in, in African country. Uh, 
there it is. So that's the that's that's what you guys need to know if you're thinking about making that move. I'm um, from Lamar, Mickey Mill, you know, they love these American artists where we're in Ghana last year in December. They held this show that they performed to Anta. Was that the first time that Ghana has seen a lot of celebrities from the western side to come? So McMill, Kendrick Lamar, a lot of other artists. I think Jay-Z was there with Beyonce. I think um, there was some other people that was there in Ghana. I think if I'm not mistaken, wasn't yeah, Cardi B too has been. Cardi B, we no, we don't we don't we don't we don't know. Cardi B's Cardi B's not us. <laughs> she's not us. <laughs> she's the other side. She she's the side that denies that they're black. <laughs> but uh um I think uh I think Casanova was there. I think Casanova was there. Um I'm gonna have to look up his video. He did a video with two hyenas. He was holding hyenas. I think that was in Ghana, but we're gonna have to see. Um But what what for a person their first trip to Ghana, where should they go? <laughs> There are a lot of interesting places to be in Ghana. <laughs> I don't know, but I think most people would like to stay in, in, in the capital. That's Accra. Accra? Yeah. So Accra, Accra, Accra? Accra. Accra. A C C R A. Ah, Accra, the capital that most people would like to stay there. If people were adventurous like you and want to travel to other places. Yeah, you can go to Cape Coast, there's that right there. There's um, central region. Yeah, the green, there's the green gardens. There's well, well, um, yeah. No, interesting. Yeah, Ghana, you, you, yeah, you can, I don't know, but you know, like, you can take a whole week and you will still not be down with the places like just interesting places to be in. All right, let me ask you this. So you name some places. A lot of the way that the United States is spaced out. There are a lot of black Americans on the coastline and then there's a lot more on the southern coastlines or the southern states and then you have the rest like on the uh, western coastline like California and stuff like that. So we are typically people near the water, right? Um, if we go to Ghana, is there lakes or places that we can swim and yeah, things like that? Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to ask you this. This is probably a question that somebody would ask. Are we going to run into any alligators or lions and shit like that? <laughs> no. We talked about this. Talked we talked about that. this. Yeah. 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 Ghana is just... No. But there are some lakes, crocodile lakes in the rest, which are also tourist sites. So... Torres says, what, 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 yeah. Yeah. what? You can actually go and then you buy like a fowl, they will give it to the proper and then you can sit on it and take a picture. Ah, well, it's not, you know, it's crazy because somebody will probably ask you these questions, but it's no different than Florida because in Florida you have crocodile, you have alligators yeah, everywhere. On like on the street yeah. in somebody's backyard, you have, you, you have videos. Memory. Yeah. This is how the photos here, you see. You can see here, we have some people playing with the crocodiles. Playing with the crocodiles. You don't play with the crocodiles, bro. There's a person. You can see. Play with the crocodiles. What yeah. the fuck? They are very gentle. No, they're not gentle. Have you seen what they do? <laughs> Alright, take your shot. It's, it's Here. Actually no, no, come back. Here, that's for you. You guys, enjoy this. Come on. Come on. Yeah, this don't worry. I'll, I'll, I'll come. No, you guys have to do this together. Don't worry. It's, don't my, worry. Bur it's my birthday today. Since your birthday. Uh, what's today? Uh, it's close. <laughs> there, there's this um, um, there's this um, tradition here when I celebrate your birthday, they have to beat you. <laughs> so I was, I was, you know, yeah, we have that. It's one little shot, man. It's just quick. It's really quick. You just take the shot. It's done. Nothing. Yeah, let, let, let them try first. It's good. All right. Okay. You guys try. Let's go. Come on. Don't don't. Yeah. You guys try. It's good. It's sweet. <laughs> Sa Saoji. Saoji. They're going to be down now. You can see. It's good, right? Oh, but behind the scenes, I'm not going to try the tripping. 
No, I did try it. I tried. I tried. I don't, give it to someone. I don't like it. They really like it, so you can give it to them. They can try it. No, you need to try this. I'm going to try it. Just calm down. What? No, no, no. <laughs> no. Look, 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 look. You know, look, look, look. <laughs> don't worry. I'm, I'm going to try it. When? Go tomorrow home. when I'm going home? Like, no, no, no. no I'm going to try it. Just calm down. He doesn't want to he, he doesn't want to look at it. It's a little innocent shot. It's innocent. I'm afraid. No, you're not afraid. You probably drink stronger shit and, and oh, no, there's probably no, some no, moonshine no, in Ghana no, that you guys no, drink. Smirnoff, you was drinking what's that shit right here? What is this? Uh vodka. This is like Russian gasoline. They put this in the car. <laughs> <laughs> They're using this in the war in, in Ukraine to run their tanks, bro. <laughs> oh, man. So, this is a piece of Africa within. Hold on. This is Check this out. This is a piece of Africa within a Portuguese country and a city centralized by Africa, right? This is this is what it is. Have a thought. It's, it's crazy. So it's dope to see. I hope y'all stay tuned for this. We're gonna drop this shit in a couple weeks. We're gonna drop this video and say what's up to the guys. If y'all want any information on Africa, any information on Brazil, any information on any any Brazilians, tell them in Portuguese if they want to learn English to come hit you up. No. Yeah, tell them uh, for the people that watch my channel. That speak Portuguese, if they want to learn English, to call you and. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, you know me, I'm Prince, I'm a Gigana, I'm a professor. He's also, so if you want to learn English, he's going to leave our email, right? Email, email, contact, right? In the description, right? So you can enter in contact with us. Que a gente vai ajudar vocês a aprender inglês. Valeu! É nóis!